Who is Rick Mason? What is he an agent of? And does Black Widow really, really care about him in a deep way? Welcome to Agents of Origin, where we discuss the topics that may escape the eye of the general public. With the new Black Widow coming out in May, it's worth noting that there are several characters that are going to be showing up in the movies for the first time in the Marvel Cinematic Universe that have never appeared before, but are existing characters in the comics. One of such is Rick Mason. And looking at MarvelFandom.com's uh, profile of him, we see that Rick Mason was a mercenary who specialized in the non-lethal handling of superhumans, having grown up exposed to advanced technology necessary for such tasks as the son of Phineas Mason, who you may know as the criminal inventor known as the Tinkerer. The Tinkerer first showed up in the Marvel Cinematic Universe in Marvel's Spider-Man Homecoming. He was aligned with... The Vulture in trying to take down Spider-Man, but mostly just tweaking on little technology that he had found when uh, they had robbed the Avengers jet. The Tinkerer was reverse engineering the technology that was left behind by the Shatari after the first Avengers film, which led to him creating the Vulture's original suit and his wings. Nothing was mentioned about him having a family or even children, but if Rick Mason is in the Marvel Cinematic Universe following just a few years after that first uh, Spider-Man movie came out, then it's very possible that they are going to follow Marvel continuity uh, by bringing him in as the child of the Tinkerer. And as such, uh, Rick Mason is a freelance agent that can be found only online under the code name The Agent. His clients included government agencies of America, the United States, the United Kingdom, Israel, France, etc. He was hired to kill a CIA mole named Vitamin in Berlin. He blew up a hotel in an attempt to kill him, but he was under observation by Michael Rossi and Carol Danvers. They tracked him across the city, but he escaped using the Tinkerer's devices to become invisible. So he notoriously uses his father's devices to uh, aid him in all his adventures. And coming across Carol Danvers, who you may also know as Captain Marvel, so we might have a little bit of a tie-in with Carol Danvers, Black Widow, and Rick Mason's character. Um, The actor who is going to be playing Rick had an interview, and this is what he had to say. So what we know about Mason is that he's a fixer and a former S.H.I.E.L.D. agent. What does he do? How does he cross paths with Natasha again? No, why does does he cross paths with Natasha again? Well, you know, Natasha, I guess, like many of my customers, um, you know, needs things. And so when I'm a guy, you know, Mason is a guy who can fix those things up. But also, you know, it's always nice hanging out with Natasha. It's always fun time. So he always looks forward to those opportunities. Is it true that uh, he has a little bit of a romantic interest for her? Is he kind of her her romantic interest in this movie, would you say? Um, well, I would definitely say there's a frisson between them. And, um, and how that manifests, you have to watch the movie to see. I mean, does Black Widow need a love interest at this point, do you think? Everyone needs a little love. As you heard it from him, he could potentially be playing Rick Mason as Black Widow's love interest. I don't think that Black Widow needs a love interest necessarily in this movie, but it may turn out to be that way. And if so, does it bring back the Tinkerer? Does it connect to Carol Danvers? Let me know what you think. Are you excited about the Black Widow movie coming up? Are you excited about these side characters that are going to be showing up in the MCU that could possibly have a greater potential for future movies in the MCU? Until next time, agents, please like, subscribe, and make sure to tell your friends about the new channel, Agents of Origin, where we're going to be delving into all the subjects that are being missed by the other channels. Don't forget to leave your comments and let us know what you think about future episodes.